Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm doing something really, really simple. We are going to do a basic nude color, um, long length with one finger with pixie crystals. So nothing too dramatic. As you can see right here on my client's fingers, she has a little bit of anicolysis, which is separation of the nail plate. Uh, separation of the nail plate from the nail bed um her nail has been like this for a while now i've been doing her nails over a year i keep telling her if she really wants it to go back together she should just take a break from acrylics but she doesn't want to do that because she's stubborn so yes um but yeah back to what i was saying we're just going to do a new color i'm using cover earth by young nails today with extra long length not extra long sorry long length cover earth with pixie crystals in the coffin shape so as you can see i am just taking my sanding band and i'm going ahead and roughening up her nails just a little bit with a fine sanding band um her fingers are a little ashy just because we had just did a soap off right before i started recording so please excuse her ashiness <laughs> So I went ahead and I had put her tips on off camera. I did that because as y'all know, when I put my tips on, I hold their hands right side up. So the camera wasn't able to catch me putting on the tips. So yeah, I put them on off camera. I like to put my tips on that way because I feel like it's easier to make sure that I'm putting them on straight as I put them on. Now I'm taking my sanding man, my fine sanding man, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend where the nail and the fake nail meet. We want a good blend, nice and smooth. I use my KDS nail glue to glue on the tips. So here is the fun part. I'm going in with my primer. This is the primer that I got from my local nail supply store. And yes, I use acid primer because that's what I like. Now I'm going in with Young Nails Cover Earth and my size 12 Kalinsky brush. This is a Sophia Davis Kalinsky brush. That is my favorite brand of Kalinsky brushes. Definitely recommend 10 out of 10. And we're going to go ahead and apply that Cover Earth. Um, I actually just found out about this color. I knew of it. I just never used it before. I always use like Cover Pink or Cover Flamingo. And then my instructor told me about cover earth well she did it on me as you can see i have it on my fingers right now in the video and when she did it on me i was like oh i like this color this is cute so i went ahead and i decided that i was going to try cover earth on somebody else and i really like the way it looked i feel like it's a really nice i mean you could use it all year round but i feel like it's really cute for the fall i feel like it's a nice fall nude brownish nude i guess you could say I also like it because sometimes, like, I usually use Cover Pink on everybody by Young Nails, but sometimes I feel like Cover Pink don't always look nice on everybody. It is, for the most part, very much universal for the people that I have used it on, but then every once in a while, I'll get that one client, and I'm like, mm, I don't think Cover Pink look nice on you. So, I'm happy I found out about Cover Earth because I feel like Cover Earth would look nice for my darker tone, my deeper tone girlies um but you don't have to be dark skin to use it as you can see the client that i have right now she's my complexion but i just feel like this is a really nice color that would be good on deeper tone women and i really like it i think it's nice one thing that i will say though maybe it's just me because i'm just now starting to use it for the first time i don't know but i feel like it has a very different consistency from um young nails cover pink and young nails cover flamingo i don't know if i'm tripping if you do nails let me know 
but I really feel like Young Nails Cover Earth definitely has a little bit of a different consistency than Cover Flamingo and Cover Paint. Now I will say Cover Earth is still nice, it still lay really nice, but I can somewhat tell there is a little difference in the formula for this batch of cover color. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think down below if y'all ever use Cover Earth and compare it to Cover Pink or Cover Flamingo. Or maybe I'm just tripping. Let me know what y'all think. So if y'all seen my most recent vlog, then y'all know that I'm in nail school and I'm getting my instructor license. And girl, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm ready to be done with school. I'm ready for school to be over. Um, so I have a guaranteed job lined up after school. Period. <laughs> um, so the school that I'm actually going to, they want to hire me once I'm done the program. So I'm just happy that I have a guaranteed job lined up. Extra money, cause period. Um, I'm ready to be done with school because I'm ready to start getting paid because I didn't think that me being in school was going to interfere with how much money I was making, but it definitely did. And uh, it's not, I've been feeling it, but it's not that bad. Like it's not that bad of a cutback, but I can tell the difference. Like I don't have as much play money as I should, if that makes any sense. So I'm ready to be done with school. I'm ready to start making extra money. Um, because I go to school during the day and then when I come home, I'm doing nails, but I'm only doing like one to two clients after I get out of school. Whereas though, if I was to be home all day, I could do four to five clients. Now, I'm definitely feeling the difference because going from four to five clients to one to two clients a day, that's a drastic, that's a drastic change, like in income, like it's definitely drastic um but i'm still surviving like i'm not like i'm not gonna say i'm not surviving I'm, I'm still able to enjoy my life i'm just not making as much as i would normally make so i'm ready for school to be over so i can start getting paid from teaching um i really like the school that i that i'm going to and i definitely am happy that they offer me a job after i'm done with the program because the schedule works perfect with my life and on top of that, it's just, I like the energy. I like the environment. They cool people up there, but they cool people up in there. It's black owned. I'm happy that it's black owned. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's real chill. It's real laid back. And yeah, like I just really like them. They cool. I like the owner. She cool. I don't really have no complaints. I feel like if I was to go somewhere else, I mean, who knows what the future holds, but I just like this school particularly because it works with my schedule and everybody up in there is just hella chill.
Yo, do y'all see my nail LED lamp in the background? That is the nail polish LED lamp. Let me tell y'all about the story behind it. So I ordered this for my birthday. My birthday is in May, right? So I've had it for a little while now. But it took me a month just to get it. Girl, when I say I was blue. So my boyfriend ordered it for my birthday, right? He ordered it on the day of my birthday. So I was supposed to get it literally the following week. I'm tracking the package. I'm like, oh, okay, it's coming through FedEx. So instead of it getting delivered to my house, I had it getting delivered to the nearest FedEx location and I was gonna pick it up. Who? Cool. So, hold on y'all. Chicago so rude. Chicago so rude. Like why did that siren have to be in the background? Anyway, so I ordered my package and it was supposed to get delivered to the FedEx location. I requested it, it be delivered to the FedEx location and I was gonna pick it up, right? Girl, why they lost my package? And I feel like it wasn't even lost. I feel like somebody stole it. And I know they were salty when they opened it and they seen that it was a nail lamp. Cause what you about to do? Cause you probably don't even do nails. I genuinely feel like somebody stole my lamp. So then I had to put in a lost claim. I had to file a claim. This is in there. I had to file a claim with FedEx and I had to file a claim with not polished. It was a whole spiel. But yeah, I didn't get it. My birthday was May 16th. I didn't get my nail lamp till June 16th. So I got it a whole month after my birthday. I was so blue. I'm just happy I got it because I thought I was going to have to go down to FedEx and cuss everybody out and be the angry black woman. But I got my package, that's all that matters. But I will say, I really like this lamp. I wish I would've did like a, a review slash opening tutorial, whatever video, but I didn't. I like it cause it's big in the inside. I like the metal plate on the bottom of it. I like that the lights are really, really bright. And it's just nice. I feel like it's a luxury, luxurious lamp. You know, I will say, if you just now starting out doing nails, no, you do not have to order the young, you know, you don't have to order the not polished LED or even the Kira Sky because they $200, both not polished and Kira Sky lamps. They $200. Um, I, if you're just starting out, I would not recommend. This is something that you do when you've been doing nails for a while. Like this is a big purchase. So if you're not really like doing nails for, for like if you don't really have a clientele, if this not really your job, like your job, like your J-O-B, like this is how you make your money to feed your family and pay your bills don't get it now however if you are like a nail tech nail tech like you got clientele this is what you do every day this is how you live this is how you make your money this is your main source of income i definitely recommend this lamp this lamp is really that girl if you do nails for for like i would definitely recommend getting this lamp it's not a mandatory but it is a luxurious nail purchase and i would say i love this lamp and would not trade it it does come with a one-year warranty, so I did like that. Um, it comes with a charger. Obviously, it's supposed to come with a charger. It's portable, so you don't have to have it plugged up all the time. That was the main reason why I got it, because I needed a portable lamp, because I do pedicures as well, and I can't be trying to be plugged up and trying to do a no chip on somebody's feet. Like, I didn't want all that extra stuff. So, I upgraded to a portable lamp, because that's what I needed. And I didn't want to get the Kira Sky, because I just felt like that was so, like, how do I say it? Just so like basic, so typical. <laughs> Plus, I've been seeing like a lot of bad reviews on the Kira Sky lamp. Like they're not, the quality isn't there like it was before. And I ain't want to get played with because you're not gonna play with my money. So I ordered the not polish. I've had it since June. It's now what we in September. It's about to be October in like three days. So I would definitely say. This is a good quality lamp, good quality lamp. I like it a lot. Um, I haven't had no problems. As you can see, it has 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 90 seconds on it. Um, and it's portable and it's spacious in the inside. It's good for my girlies who get the long and the extra long 2XL. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend this lamp if you really do nails for real, for real.
So I know I say this all the time, but I'm really gonna stand on it this time. Like I'm really gonna stand on it. I'm ten toes down about it. I put this on everything that I love. I'm gonna start being more consistent with YouTube. Like I has to do this. This is something that I've been wanting to do since like forever. Since I was like 16, 17. I've been wanting to do YouTube. But for some reason, I could never stay consistent. But, like, I'm really manifesting that I will stay consistent this time. I will stay up on it. I'm going to record. I've been doing good with recording. The recording part is not the issue. Never had a problem with that. You know what my problem falls at? Editing. I do not like to edit. It is so annoying. Girl. But another thing that I've been having a problem with, too, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to cap. I really find it hard to like vlog like I could sit at my desk and record myself doing nails I don't have a problem with it why because I might have to do nails regardless somebody booked me for an appointment so yeah I got to do their nails they pay me to do their nails I don't have a choice but to do their nails you get what I'm saying so since I'm already doing their nails what I'm gonna do record it might as well record it why so we could upload it to YouTube duh but when it comes to vlogging, I'm just really having a hard time vlogging. Like, I don't know. It's just, I want to get back in the habit of vlogging, but I just can't. Like, it's really hard for me to pick up the camera and be like, hey, guys, we're doing this today. Da, 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 da. Like, I don't think it's for me no more. And I used to be like, yeah, I really want to vlog. I love vlogging. But, like, I'm not a bad bee every day. Half of the time, I be looking dusty, rusty, crusty, musty. Like, I'm not even going to cap. <laughs> like, I'm not cute every day. And a lot of the times, I be seeing on YouTube, like, these girls wake up. They love the soft girl era. And I'm not knocking it. Because let me tell you something. I want to be the soft girl era. I wish I could be a soft girl, girl era. But the way my life is set up, it's not for me. Or maybe I'll get there one day. Let me not say that. Because I actually do want to live, like, that posh life. But it's just not for me. My life is too realistic. Like, it's just too much. I just can't get into vlogging. I don't know. Unless y'all want to see me be a basic B every day. I mean, I'm down to. Let me know in the comments. But I really be having a hard time. But, like, sitting here and recording nail videos is so easy for me. Like, I already do nails every day. Might as well just pick up my phone. Put it on my tripod. Hit the record button and boom then when i'm done make sure i get my pictures edit the video and upload it it's really that simple <laughs> let me take that back because editing is not simple but to me doing this is easier than actually vlogging will i ever get back into vlogging and uh, i'm not gonna say no and i'm not gonna say yes it really just depends on how does youtube stuff go because I've been wanting to do this forever and I'm never consistent. But this time around, like, I really put this on everything that I love. I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to stay at it. I don't care if I get 10 views per video. Somebody going to F with me. Somebody going to watch my stuff. And that's just point blank, period. And I also look at it as this. Like, if you, well, if I stay consistent, I know I can blow up. And that's just that. If I just stay consistent... With uploading videos at least twice a week, I know I can start getting me some views. The same way I stay consistent with doing nails, and now look at me. I done did two celebrity clients. Oh, I got to tell y'all about my second celebrity client. It was a hot mess, but let me finish this story first. I done did two celebrity clients. Um, I got a steady clientele. I make more than enough to pay my bills. I make enough to still enjoy myself. I'm back in school on an OPI scholarship. And if you know, for the OG girlies who've been getting their nails done for a long time, then you know OPI is that girl. Now, she might not be as popular as she used to be. But back in the day, if y'all used to watch, like, loving um, Basketball Wives, like, do y'all remember Drea off of Basketball Wives? And she would wear OPI Big Apple Red. Yeah, OPI, she been that girl. But like I was saying, I got an OPI scholarship. Like, and I stay consistent with nails, and they don't look at me. I'm that girl. 
So I feel like if I just stay consistent with this YouTube stuff, I can make it happen. It's just easier said than done. And a lot of people be like, oh yeah, I want to be a content creator. I want to do this. Like being a content creator really isn't easy. I'm not going to cap. You really got to be up on posting. Like what's today? I haven't posted on my Instagram in almost two weeks. Two weeks. And I do nails. I should know better. And usually I never fall off this hard. But I just, I've been in a rut. I've been in like not really a good space mentally. And yeah, that's why I haven't been posting. But that's another story for another time. But I really want to like get into just post all the time. I know if I be consistent the same way I was consistent with doing nails. If I take that consistency and put it towards YouTube, I can make this happen. I just got to do it. I got to stop being lazy. I got to stop being a bum. Because nobody likes a bum. Pray for me, y'all. Can you take control of me? I just want to love you, baby. Are y'all ready for a story time? Because I got a story time. Okay, so y'all know how I just had set a lot? Y'all know how I just said I had two celebrity clients? So y'all know who my first celebrity client was? My first celebrity client was Just Hilarious. Love her. She was mad cool. Like, Just, came, just Hilarious came to my house, first of all. Y'all know I, I'm a home-based nail tech. She came to my house. Just Hilarious pulled up on me. Pulled up on me. Came to my house. She was cool. She was a vibe. I ain't gonna lie. She came... Her and her brother, she was high. She ate up all my stepson fruit snacks. But she was cool. She smoked with my boyfriend. Like, she was a whole vibe. Like, she really down to earth. Like, she's chill. Like, chill. She played with my cats. Like, she she wasn't hard to please. Like, and if you go to my Instagram, she's like the first, one of the first pictures up there. She's pinned to my profile. So you can see what I did to her nails or whatever. That was like so smooth but my second celebrity client girl the ghetto the ghetto i'm not gonna say who it was i'm not gonna put them on blast because i feel like that's corny i don't like stuff like that i don't like don't put me on i wouldn't want nobody put me on blast so don't put me on blast so i'm not gonna put them on blast but my second celebrity client i'm not gonna say her name but i'm not even gonna cap i didn't even know who she was and i know that sound crazy right now hear me out right check it boom i'm chilling one night right somebody sliding my dms they're like yo you got something for tomorrow i'm like no i'm fully booked so she's like oh it's for my musician so i'm like oh okay i'm fully booked <laughs> like i said what i said what do you mean so she's like um do you think you'll have anything maybe the next day so i'm like all right let me stop being mean let me see what she's talking about so i'm like all right yeah i guess you this day when we walk over here i'm like who is this for and she says i'm not gonna say the name but when she says the name i'm like okay so she asks me for my number and she calls me so we talk or whatever we, we schedule her in for we schedule her musician in for a um for an appointment however i have to go to her i don't mind traveling but i'm i'm charging you that traveling fee i'm charging you 100 dollars for that traveling fee i don't care charging that traveling fee i don't care if it's around the corner i'm charging you 100 dollars for that traveling fee however it wasn't around the corner it was downtown i don't live far from downtown but that's besides the point if i gotta pack up all my stuff i'm charging you 100 dollars flat for that traveling fee on top of your nails so when she called me and we set her appointment up, I'm like, yeah, you know, who you set this for? So she repeat her name again. So I'm like, who? She repeats her name again. I'm like, can you spell her name? <laughs> like, I wasn't even trying to be rude, but I really didn't know who Shorty was. Like, um, who? So I write her name now. Cool. I'm like, all right, so we already got her appointment scheduled, whatever. She like, yeah, um, just text me when you're on your way the next morning i'm like okay cool so i never actually had the celebrity's phone number i just had her i guess you say her manager assistant whatever she is i had the manager's phone number 
So I'm like, let me look this girl up on Instagram because I still don't know who this girl is. So I type her name on, I type her name in on Instagram. She got, I think at the time she had 3.2 followers. Hold on, I'm gonna check and see how many followers she got right now. Hold on, y'all. Beer with me. Beer with me. Let's see if I can even find the girl. Okay, so she got 3.9 followers now. So she was on tour in Chicago. This was like. This was in August, I think I did her nails, or early September. It was either the end of August. No, it was the first week of September. I remember. It was the first week of September that I did her nails. So this, she got 3.9 followers, 3.9 million followers on Instagram. And I've, like, never heard of this girl before. She do, like, Afrobeat music or whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. So I get to the hotel. They, they sent me a picture of what she wanted, right? So <clears throat> I go, she wanted these like rose gold Frenchies. These rose gold chrome Frenchies, right? I get to the hotel. I set up, you know, she was like, hey, how you doing? I was like, hey, da, da, da. It was her. I guess it was her sister or her cousin. I don't even know. But she had another woman with her. I guess it was like her cousin. We just want to say that was her cousin. So it was just me, her, and her cousin in the hotel room. So I start doing her nails. And I'm like, look, I know you. I'm looking at her nails first of all. She need a filling. I'm looking at her base. I'm like, all right, I ain't even got this base color. It was like a, it was, it was like a a nudish, pinkish, purplish, see-through pinkish base cover color. I don't know. But I know I didn't have a color. So I'm like, all right. I'm gonna have to just fill her in, right? And then I'm gonna just paint her like a new base with some gel polish. Now, my fool, she missing a nail. Whoever did her nails, I ain't gonna cap. They was cold because they did some real deep C curves. And I'm like, I ain't never seen no C curves this deep. And they was tips. So I'm like, dang, this is some European stuff. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm still gonna finagle it though. Pop the tip on, right? So I start to fill her in. And I told her off rip, I'm like, look, I ain't got this cover color that you already got on your nails, but I'm going to fill you in with a nude, and then we're going to paint over them joints with, like, a nude color, like a nude base color. Cool, she was fine with that. She was like, all right, we're going to make, you know, make it happen, we'll, you know, make it work with what we got. Fill her in. I, paint, I, I painted the nude base on top of the acrylic. I said, do you like this nude? She said, yeah, I like it. I'm like, all right, cool, right? Now we get to the French part. Now, if you an L-Tech, you already know how it is when you doing chrome Frenchies. Chrome Frenchies will forever be the death of me. Like, when I say I hate chrome Frenchies, like, I hate them. And I'm about to start charging charging $200 just to do chrome Frenchies because I'm over it. If somebody else asks me for a chrome Frenchie, I'm probably going to pass out. No cap. So, I'm doing a chrome Frenchie. Now, when I do my chrome Frenchie, right, this is what I do. I take a little jealous foundation, right? And then I take a little bit of black, or I might take a little bit of white, just so I can see it. I take the jealous foundation, pour a little bit on the table. You know, jealous foundation is clear. I take a little bit of black, a hint of black, like a double of it. Drip it into the um, jealous foundation that I just poured on the table. Mix it together with the black, a little bit of black. That way, when I go to paint the Frenchie, I can see where I'm painting at. Because if I paint a Frenchie, with clear jellish foundation, I can't see nothing. You get what I'm saying? So I paint the Frenchies, right? Now I did this on the pinky. I took the rose gold chrome powder that I had and I rubbed it on the Frenchie. After I rubbed it on the Frenchie, I said, this is what all your nails is gonna look like. Do you like this? She said, yeah, she like it. I'm like, all right, cool. I do that with like 90% of my clients because I'll be damned if I do all your fingers and you turn around and tell me you don't like me. Like them. Cause if I do all 10 and then we get to the last finger and you tell me you don't like them, I'm going to knock you upside your head because why would you waste my time? That's a dub. So, I did the first finger. She said she liked it. I'm like, all right, cool, bet. I do the rest of them, right? I get all the way to the thumb. Hold on, wait. No, no, no. Let me rewind because I skipped the part. She did DoorDash, right? This was the part that made me feel like it was kind of rude. She eating her food while I'm doing her nails. I'm like, bro, you getting grease all over your nails. I'm trying to do these Frenchies. Like, 
then you moving if you do frenchies you are if you announce like you already know frenchies is already hard to begin with like frenchies will forever be the death of me and that is the most thing that i get requested for is french tips like i'm so over frenchies and i'm definitely over chrome french tips because it's a dub but while i'm trying to do her french tips she all moving and stuff now i'm like all right i'm almost up out of here it don't even matter i don't even care i get to the last finger right her sister or her cousin whatever shorty was to her walks over there she mm, it's not a hit for me what <laughs> hey yo stop playing with me <laughs> her cousin or her sister whatever she was to her real life walked over there now my fool i'm doing her nails and she says she liked them her sister walks over there and says mm, it's not a hit for me Bro, it don't matter if it's a hit for you or not. You ain't get. First of all, it's not on you. You're not getting your nails done. You're not paying me. But all right. I'm like, I don't even care. Anyway, your total was two hundred dollars. And I got my money and I got up out of there. It was just weird. Like, I I just wasn't feeling the vibe. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It was weird. But I just was like, whatever. Anyway, you paid me. I'm about to go on about my business. Then, hold up, wait. When she paid me, right? And, like, I'm real big on this. She put the money on the table instead of putting it in my hand. And I'm like, all right. Like, she younger than me. She, like, in her early 20s. So, I'm like, maybe she don't know no better. And I get that. And, you know, she a different culture. So, I'm like, all right. I know a lot of people, like don't really get that that's a sign of respect to put the money in somebody's hand instead of putting it on the table but i wasn't even like tripping off of that and i'm not even gonna say she was rude the only rude thing that she really did that kind of blew me was the fact that she was eating while i was doing her nails and she kept moving and just wouldn't stop moving her sister was mad rude though for coming over there and saying yeah it's not a hit for me i'm like oh okay all right cool that's cool that is not a hit for you but you still gonna pay me and i just kept it pushing and i'm not even gonna lie like i still want to do celebrity nails i just hope that my next experience is better than this experience because my just hilarious experience like just just hilarious was cool like she was cool than the other side of the pillow but my second experience doing a celebrity client i'm not gonna say who she is but i wasn't feeling it and yeah we just ain't vibe but it's cool God got something better in store. God gonna keep blessing me with celebrity clients. God know my heart and that's all that matter. But I would definitely say like, you know, if you do wanna go into doing celebrity nails, just be aware of what you're walking into. Like, you're not gonna always have the perfect celebrity client. Like, they're not gonna all be a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Some people might be aggy. Some people might be weird. Some people just, I don't know. Like, you just don't know what you're walking into. Just go in there, be quiet, do your service, get your money, you know what I'm saying, get up out of there. Now, if, if the celebrity client want to talk, you go ahead, bump your gums for a little bit. But if you can tell they're not really even talking to you, you know, be quiet, mind your business, do your service, and that's that.
Facts. So I know I just talked through this whole video and I ain't explained nothing I did, but I'm explaining what I'm doing right here. So right here I'm taking my Gelish foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and lather this on, be real generous with it. Um, actually my nail instructor slash mentor taught me this. Nail, nails by Mrs. Tista, she taught me this. Lather on that foundation and then take them pixie crystals and put them on top. And at first I was like, when she told me about this, I was like, I don't know, they don't, they, don't, they gonna stay, that don't sound right to me. But then she told me, she was like, you know I did a Jealous Foundation class, right? Like, I'm like, oh. No, she told me she did a Swarovski Crystal class. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. So yeah, and ever since she told me about this, I've been doing this and they actually stay. I would say this is the best thing to use when you are doing pixie crystals. Like, this Jealous Foundation is gonna make them pixie crystals stay, like, they not moving nowhere. Even if your client trying to pick at them, they not gonna move. And then when I do my PC crystals, I like to make sure that the sides aren't bulky with crystals on them. So I just try to push the crystals that fall on the side and push them to the top. That way the nail doesn't lose the shape that it has. Um, but like I said, make sure y'all being generous with that, being generous with that jealous foundation. You want to really, you see how I'm just lathering it on there? Like, really put a lot up on there. And put them pixie crystals on top. And it's going to stay. It's going to last until she come back or until she break all them nails off. Okay, now hear me out, right? So y'all know for a long time, I've been using um, IBD's UV LED gel top coat. I ain't even gonna lie. I switched up on them. I'm a Koopa girl now. I love Koopa top coat. Miss Tissa put me onto this too. Nails by Miss Tissa. Because I used to be like, I don't really like Koopa. I don't know. Like, I'm not gonna say I ain't never really liked it. I just never, like, cared for it. But baby, it just go on so smooth. And it's not all, like, thick either like like ibd is i mean i'm always be an ibd girl i love me some ibd uv led gel top coat but this koopa baby baby i'm a koopa girly i mean it's it just chef's kiss just period it just go on so nice and i feel like it just has a better look to it too i'm not even gonna lie to you so yes love me some good old koopa
Thanks. <laughs> but yeah you guys this is the finished look thank you for watching thank you for staying tuned make sure you like comment and subscribe if y'all like videos where i'm constantly talking and bumping my gums let me know because i have plenty of stories or if y'all just want to listen to background music and i'm just explaining what i'm doing let me know because I don't want to be wasting my breath if y'all want to hear what I got to say. Because I can just put some music over it until we keep it pushing. I really want to know y'all honest opinion on my editing skills. Just comment below if you got any type of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Advice, I guess you could say. Criticism. And yeah, I'm going to catch y'all in my next video.